my mission and what I'm so um, passionate about and what I really stand for is we need more wildly wealthy women with big visions in the world making the impact. Like yes. we are the ones that like need to take control of the money, of the financial state, you know, however we want to call it, whatever we want to do, like we are the ones that should be circulating the money. We are the ones that should have the power of how we use it in the world. Because let's be real, a lot of people in the world have a lot of money. Like if Kim Kardashian can have the amount of money that she has, it's, you know, like it's possible, right? Like you have to understand that it's there, there to be taken. So it's like, do for me when I think about it, I'm like, do I want and I actually really respect um Kim Kardashian? I think, I but think she's that, a, a phenomenal businesswoman. Yeah, she's like, a phenom- I actually I was just about to say, like, I actually really respect her. She's a phenomenal businesswoman. I learn a lot from the Kardashians, actually. They're very, very intelligent. They run a very, very successful business. Oh, yeah, empire. Um, they run an empire, those guys. Yeah, absolutely, right? But what I mean is like the money is there. Yes. So it's like the money is there. It's just a matter of who has the ability to circulate it. And I don't know about you, but I would rather spend $20 million on things that I actually care about to be moving the planet forward in a powerful and productive way than on a, you know, 20 bedroom house that someone uses three weeks a year. Yeah, look, and it's all coming back to that consciousness piece. You know, we're living consciously, behaving consciously. And it really is our responsibility, I'm with you there, to, to act consciously now. And because we as the feminine have a beautiful connection with Mother Earth anyway, and she is part of our of our womb. She's part of our creation. Yeah. That that natural connection is already there. And this is one thing I also feel is why we feel so out of sorts as women, because we've forgotten our beautiful connection with nature. You know, we're so busy gritting and grinding and being masculine that we're not connecting to that beautiful space. And so yeah. I know that's amazing.